friends. I have this book that I created in uh, 2020 during the pandemic. Um, I had found this old um, autograph book. It was uh, filled with, uh, you know, <laughs> sentiments from uh, fellow students and such. And uh, it was all falling apart, but I liked the cover. So I thought I'd use a cover as a cover for this book that I want to make. So you, I used the three holes from the um, book to bind the book. Um, it worked out rather nice. I took this piece of fabric that I had painted, I had stitched and painted, and used it for the cover. Um, this book isn't actually complete. I, um, I put it together, but then I put it away because I was making so much stuff because uh, I was so anx anxious that I kind of lost track of stuff that I made and I'm just recently finding <laughs> finding things uh, that I can finish. It's really weird. So, so yeah, so I glued this here to this cover, which really strengthened it up quite a bit, which is a good thing. And here I have some fabric that I painted and it had a I think it had a a stencil um, ghost print on here I added some black gesso to the back so I could write on here if I wanted to here's a little magazine piece that I glued here with some matte medium or shell medium. I have yet to do something with that. It's a really curious thing to uh, find something you I, I made and I kind of didn't remember it and um, I mean I do remember it but it, wow I don't know it's kind of weird how sometimes that happens. Um, as you can see that magazine image underneath this fabric is kind of uh, a little uh, transparent there so she shows up rather nicely and that's just the other side of this uh, magazine image here and I was thinking I'd like to do something to this to take the magazine image look you know I don't want people to know that this is from a magazine so maybe I'll hit it with some gesso or I don't know I'll think about it and this fabric here was fabric that I painted, which is, I really like painting on fabric. It's a lot of fun. This is a piece of paper that I got as a gift from somebody. I don't remember how I got that actually, or was it a friend or, hmm, I'm pretty sure somebody gave that to me, but I don't remember anymore. I get so many gifts. This is an old dyed envelope, piece of a map that I had stenciled on. And this is a part of a, um, when, when I went to go have sushi at the restaurant, uh, they give you your chopsticks and a piece of paper, you know, so it's sanitary or hygienically, whatever. <laughs> so I cut it off because I liked a little face and I thought I'd use it here. It's cute. Maybe you could write a little message under there. Here's another piece of uh, painted fabric that I did. I really, really like the way that one came out. And I added this uh, pastel on there, little squiggle. I thought this beautiful pink went well with this, these greens and light blues. Nice contrast. And then in this piece here, I had as a scrap from this page, I think. Might be making a liar out of me, but that's okay, whatever. Doesn't matter. So I was going to add that here. Maybe. 
I just thought the colors looked nice together. So it's something I'm thinking about. Mm. Kind of like it like this. It gives that uh, you got a line going here and a line going there. It almost looks like an open book. Hmm. So I'll think about that. Ooh, and I even like the way these look with this. They kind of look like leaves a little bit. This is upholstery fabric that a friend uh, sent me. She sent me quite a few pieces quite a few pieces and um, I really enjoy working with them. Here's the other side of the uh, envelope that I showed you here. Here's a flap. Here's the rest of it. You have stuck it to this page here. I mean this fabric. This fabric and the envelope are glued together. And I don't want to pull it anymore and it might come off. But look at how cool that looks. It's cool. Yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. And there's the other flap. And this here is, uh, oh, I forget what it's called. It's the stuff they put in, in uh, collars on button-down Oh, stabilizer. It's called stabilizer. It's actually white, but I painted it with black gesso, and I just I just like the way it looks. And I might put some stitching on here. That's the thing that this book lacks right now, except for this. I had done that stitching on a piece that was already from something else, so the inside pages need some stitching. Like this needs to be sewn on. And uh, it's really, for me, it's very, very minimal, very plain. And uh, I am all about layers and putting away a lot of stuff in my books. It's like no place for the eye to rest. Yeah. I really like the way this yellow fabric is peeking out from underneath the photograph. I did that on purpose since the orange yellow really kind of went really well as a compliment against, you know, with this blue. This is a piece of uh, um, paper that I had put in the um, dye pot with some rusty bits and this one mostly got tea dye. There's a little tiny bit of rust there. And here's a, a magazine image that I had to put in here. And elephants are like my favorite animal. And I'll tell you, the reason why is because they are so family oriented. They, um, they actually grieve the loss of their loved ones. And um, they're like, have a lot of feeling. I'm sure a lot of animals are like that, but I don't know, there's something about elephants that just gets me. And the idea that these little guys here got cut off, I think that's interesting. I might take a, a white pen and finish their image on the black part. <laughs> and this lady looks so happy, and it's perfect. This yellow, it just looks really good. I like this yellow and colors of the fruits and veggies, or are they just fruits? Looks like fruits. But my favorite part is, another of my favorite critters is zebras. I love zebras. I'm not quite sure why, <laughs> but I do. I, I think I love all animals, but anyways, I just really like the way these guys look. The white, white and black stripes, you know? I just love the designs. Every, every... Zebra has a different design. There are no two the same, just like fingerprints. Isn't that cool? So I put these little holes through. I'm not quite sure why I did that. Maybe, I don't know, to see the, <laughs> the color uh, come through. I don't know why I do the things I do. But that's okay. Look at that. That hole is showing that green through. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Anyways, this book is uh, 
definitely going to be worked on now. More to add. And um, I will let you know how that goes. I wonder if you would be interested in taking a class on how to make this. Hmm. Why don't you let me know in the comments and then uh, I'll see if I, I can design it for you. <laughs> Anyways, have a great rest of your day. I really appreciate you watching this video. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe too. That would be nice. And um, check out my website. It's uh, the address is at the end of this video. Thanks.